hi aquarius welcome back thank you all for tuning in to my channel i really appreciate you guys um this is going to be for aquarius sun moon rising venus and north node please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation okay um also remember to reverse the roles i could be talking about someone in your energy or even third party energy so use discernment okay so i hope everybody is doing well let's see what is coming towards you guys aquarius okay this is going to be for aquarius spirit sun moon rising venus north node let's get some messages for aquarius bottom of the deck we have behind a mask so someone is wearing a mask here and then we have planet safe okay somebody here is walking on eggshells with someone but they're on the brink of breaking though because we have six and three that's nine so somebody here is um, in the nine of wands energy. <laughs> somebody's being, somebody is worn out because they're tired of hiding behind this fake mask. They need to, somebody here needs to say something, I feel, or do something. Yeah, their higher self is speaking to them about something. <laughs> yeah. So let's see, for Aquarius spirit, what's, what's coming up for Aquarius? What is coming towards my Aquarius, please? What is coming towards my Aquarius? Coming towards my Aquarius. So we have dark thoughts. Yeah, somebody here is being a little pessimistic. Okay, the three stands for the Empress in Tarot. So someone here could be thinking about their divine feminine. Okay. But they're being guided somewhere. It's just this person is going through maybe a dark night of the soul or somebody here is thinking of the worst okay somebody here needs to stop doing that yeah then we have true love at the bottom here so something here somebody wants to go towards a connection like i said and someone here is scared okay um but it says taking steps all right so three 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 could be significant also four four both of these numbers are here yeah so someone here is trying to take the steps that they need to take to um i'm hearing like reconciliation especially with these friends and colleagues someone here could be getting advice from someone else from other people they could be putting dark thoughts in your head here aquarius so maybe you need to stop listening to these people and follow what it is that you want to do okay doesn't have to be the situation for all of you all right but yeah but you're trying to take steps towards something or you're making the progress so i mean this is good let's just see what comes out in the cars for you aquarius let's see what is coming towards my aquarius spirit what is coming towards my aquarius what is coming towards my aquarius bottom of the deck we have ten of pentacles oh yeah <laughs> you're going into a very very long-term commitment here aquarius it could be that's probably what's making you nervous like you're scared um also you guys are getting some type of money some inheritance like a windfall of money is coming towards you um some type of wealth that you are building upon or this connection this true love connection here that you're going towards that you're taking the steps to, to go towards is going to be something that is going to be worth your while okay just saying could be a taurus virgo capricorn yeah so let's see what is coming towards my aquarius we have the eight of cups okay so so you could be walking away from things that are not serving you whatever was causing you these dark thoughts i feel like you're walking away from that something here was emotionally unfulfilling to you or for you maybe there was a lot of secrets in the situation but i feel like you're going to be walking away from this what else for aquarius or these dark thoughts that you've been having has caused you to walk away from somebody here. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here that's your true love could be. What else for Aquarius? So, yeah, death. Okay. So that there is definitely someone going through a transformation here. Um, things that are ending for your highest good. Okay, you're becoming purified. You're becoming pure. You're cleansing your energy. Um, you're clean, cleansing your space. Maybe some of you guys do need to cleanse your space to bring in, to allow um, this new energy to come in towards you. 
Um, so you are being blessed with an opportunity. The divine is giving you an opportunity for something nice. Maybe you guys are getting a new place, a new car. Um, this could be marriage in the cars for some of you. Maybe you want to give a gift to someone here. But I feel like this is a gift from the divine. Okay, so you're being blessed with an opportunity to take this offer that's coming in towards you. Okay, something about a solid commitment. Okay, um, but you do, you have been ending things that are not serving you or you're going to be. Something here is going to completely end. And it's going to, some of you guys could be going through a transformation right now. All right, and maybe coming out of your transformation phase. I mean, transformations happen all the time, but it's just different transform transformations. So... I don't know, maybe something major has been happening to your life. Maybe you've been letting go of friends and, and people that you thought were your friends. You're letting them go and you're taking the steps to become a better person so you can let this true love in. Okay, what else for Aquarius? Yeah, Six of Cups, someone from your past. Check Scorpio's reading out, also Virgo's. Check Virgo and Scorpio. You guys could have them that the, uh, these placements in your chart. But... Um, Yeah, I feel, I feel like you guys have been doing a lot of self-evaluation, okay, meditating here. Um, maybe with the Three of Swords here, you've been heartbroken a lot here in your past. Maybe someone from your past really broke your heart. Um, you, I feel like you've been healing um, your inner child wounds, okay? Maybe something in your childhood has happened to you and um, you've been healing. This is why these dark thoughts are coming up. So you're going through shadow you're taking oh you're doing shadow work here but with the six of cups i do see that you want to reconcile with someone from your past or you're really thinking about someone maybe how things ended with this person um you're really having nostalgia you miss them could be dreaming about them okay you really want to offer someone something um and start new okay whatever this new beginning is so let's see what is this eight of cups for aquarius So we have the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So yeah, um, some of you here could be, um, this is a court situation. You are um, uh, getting a victory in court here. Something about your communication too with the Ace of Swords. Maybe you want to communicate something with someone or you've gained clarity about something. Whatever you were doing here was causing you a burden and you've gained clarity about it and you're walking away. Yeah, you're walking away. You've learned about something here with the Page of Swords. Maybe something that you're studying or something that you're researching, something that you found out. Okay, you found out some truth about something and you're going to. And it's going to help you move out of these, move out of this dark period in your life. Um, something here is definitely burdening you. I feel like you're you're just ending this. You're tired. Maybe you have too many responsibilities, too many things that are taking the focus off of you and your healing and what you want and what you need. Okay, so I just feel that you're getting some type of breakthrough. Okay, there's going to be some communication coming in, it looks like, with the Ace of Swords. Someone wants to maybe break the silence because maybe they walked away from you or you walked away from them due to having all of these responsibilities and things that you were dealing with in your life. So I feel like communication has been cut off with you and someone else. And it could be that the communication is, is getting a breakthrough, finally. Okay. Yeah, we have the Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So you this is destined whatever this communication is is fated to happen one way or the other okay so it's, it's happening what is this ace of pentacles someone here knows that somebody here is their will of fortune somebody here is um fate something here is fated there's a purpose for someone being in your life here aquarius what is this ace of pentacles for aquarius the strength card could be dealing with the Leo, your opposite sign. What is this Ace of Pentacles? And the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, this is nice, Aquarius. Something here is just, oh, <laughs> y'all about to come into some money. Yeah, if you were having financial problems here, your money is looking good. Or you see someone as your Ten of Pentacles, somebody that you want to propose to. You want to propose to someone here. Maybe you're getting advice from family or friends that, um, about what kind of ring to get or what kind of presence to get this person because you see this person as long-term stability um you could be successful with this person you guys could run a very successful business together you guys could be lovers and work friends okay i just see i just see something here that's abundant for you um you're trying to build up that courage and that strength to maybe approach this person with this offer okay it looks like it's a big offer of a new beginning um something that's going to be long lasting 
but um, if it's not a commitment even though I feel like for most of you it is this is you here um, maybe getting a promotion getting a new job getting a new place a new car um, your strength has really brought you a long way you've worked through a lot of things here and it's leading you into prosperity okay yeah you're, you're going you're coming into a prosperous time okay this transformation process has really blessed you it might have been not so pretty in the beginning but it's leading you into a, a nice new beginning i'm hearing whatever this is this is nice <clears throat> this is really nice so let's see what is this death card for aquarius six of swords in reverse yeah something here that you got yourself into aquarius is has completely ended because your travel plans have been delayed or your you haven't been on the right path here with whatever this is and now you're taking those steps to go into your right path okay so something here is completely ended something here whatever whatever your travel plans were before they're going to be back in motion because you needed to end something I feel like you had to go backwards for a minute to close out a cycle. Okay, so death and rebirth. You had to really um, clear something out of your life, out of your energetic field, could be, so you can get this Ten of Pentacles, all right? Because you got yourself into some bullshit by traveling backwards or going back. But I feel like it was fated to, <clears throat> it was fated to happen for you, so you can clear this out. Because something here, you're not going to be able to be blessed with this abundance if all you're gonna do is mess it up, you had to clear something out with someone or do something. There was a karmic cycle that needed to be closed out for some of you. Okay. So um, what else for the death card? The Ace of Cups, yeah. So you're the emperor. So somebody here is stepping up and bossing up. Somebody here is someone's divine masculine. But with the Ace of Cups, I feel like you found out that you were in love with somebody okay you have love for someone there's a new beginning in love coming okay and i feel like you had to go backwards and leave this new love offer because there was something here that you needed to be that needed to be clear before you can transform and transition into this new phase of your life i feel like you had to do this here okay but you do have love for someone someone does love you you love them and this is a new beginning in love. Um, you met someone new here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Like I said, this is going to be a very, very prosperous partnership because you guys are going to be making money together and loving each other. This is like power couple energy here with whatever this is. Yeah, very nice energy. What is the Six of Cups for Aquarius? Um, I also feel like this is all about your self-love. This is about you um, stepping into who you are as a person okay finding out what type of powers that you hold um how strong you really are okay i feel like you found yourself this journey of going backwards okay has really showed you a lot about yourself and the things that you want in your life i feel like you've been soul searching being in solitude okay you've been cutting people off left and right and it's helping you it's helping you move on and move forward so this is nice so let's see what is the six of cups for aquarius Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, what is this Six of Cups in uh, for? <laughs> I about to say in Aquarius <laughs> for Aquarius. What is this Six of Cups for Aquarius? <laughs> what? Somebody here stumbles over their words, or or they just um, they're nervous about saying something here. So okay, um. I feel like there's something here that you've always wanted to do. You've been fantasizing about someone and dreaming about this person, but you something here couldn't come into fruition with this person because maybe you guys were lacking financially, okay, at some point, or you were just going through a lot of hardships in your life. But I see with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, you're coming out of hard times, okay? You're coming out of hard times. You're coming out of a lack of money, definitely, with the Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. Your money is not going to be looking funny anymore. Um... I feel like maybe also there's someone from your maybe like a um an ex or someone here from your past that you receive bad news about okay this person or this person is just bad news they're very immature very childish here they're very um promiscuous too they're very young-minded very reckless what is this page of wands in reverse the three of wands yeah you turned your back on this here 
you're turning your back on this you're, you're releasing whoever this page of wands and reverse person is and you're also thinking about someone from you so i feel like it's two people from your past aquarius one is like an ex that you've been with maybe for a long time or been through a lot of shit with and then there's someone new that you have met from your past your recent past this person is still new y'all didn't even get shit off the ground yet and um you had to cut things off with this person because you were dealing with someone very childish whoever this person was that you were dealing with for a very long time okay and i feel like you had to cut someone this is what the hold up was because somebody was dealing with someone childish it could have been due to children or something like that you could have had children with whoever this person was from your longest past okay your the past that uh, maybe you grew up with this person type of thing okay but you found out someone here was childish they're just bad news they're bad for your health bad for your for your wealth <laughs> bad for your mental bad for your physical they're just bad news so this is what you found out about i feel like you turned your back you're releasing the past and letting this go this is what the hold up was you've been waiting to get out of this cycle for a long time and I feel like you are. So this is what this five of pentacles is. You're coming out of this time of feeling a lack. Okay. So this looks nice, Aquarius. This looks nice. You have two of wands. So you're going to have to make a decision. Yeah, I feel like you're choosing love. The two of cups and the two of wands, you're cho choosing union. You're choosing love. You, you love someone here. You know someone here is your soulmate. Okay. And you're making that choice. You're planning for this um, reconciliation, it sounds like okay you're planning for this person you're making plans for this person so travel could be in, could be involved um you could be relocating or you could have to travel towards this person maybe you guys live in two different states cities countries whatever but um yeah so let's see what is coming towards aquarius spirit let's get some more cards for my aquarius bottom of the deck we have karmic cycle yeah you're closing out some type of karmic cycle you you're, you learned from what, whatever this is that you got yourself into so let's see settling scores in this life karmic relationship karmic patterns negative cycles personal growth yeah yep and it all has had to happen in divine timing <laughs> yep what else for aquarius dating being open to love, seeing somebody specific, going on more dates, feeling good and flirting. Ooh, okay. Then we have dice. It's time to take risk. Getting out of your comfort zone, leaping to the unknown. Adventure awaits. Yeah, you're taking a risk towards someone. What else for um, Aquarius? Boundaries. Your boundaries are being tested, not surrendering, standing your ground, staying true to yourself. Okay. Yep, you, you set boundaries with someone here too. I feel like it's this person from your past past like way back <laughs> okay what else for aquarius spirit we have travel long distance travel wanting to escape a new adventure a journey to the next level okay moon listen to your intuition intense emotions deception hidden truth proceed with caution okay somebody here could be hiding something could be someone's feelings here <laughs> woman female friend enters your life a female romantic interest a woman will assist you a woman plays a key role so i could be talking to masculine um aquariuses right now you could be going towards this woman okay she could be brown skin she could be melanated all right doesn't have to be but she's very pure with good intentions what else for aquarius answers mystery reaches its resolution having answers clarity problems will be, will be resolved closure from the past yep that's what this moon energy is so whatever this is whatever these secrets are are coming out you're finding the answers that you need to move forward we have up in the air not knowing where you stand situation decision still undecided uncertain about something lacking stability okay so yeah if you were lacking stability you're getting it <laughs> Playfulness, having more fun in life, not taking life too seriously, enjoying the little things in life, careful not to go over overboard, and then unfinished, leaving things unfinished, tying up loose ends, things left unresolved, seeing things through. So yeah, some of you guys are keeping a promise here. I do. I feel like some of you guys are keeping a promise because something is unfinished. A cycle has not closed out with someone from your past. 
I feel like you closed a karmic cycle out. So you could have been in a karmic relationship dealing with the karmic. You closed that cycle out and now you're moving to someone that you have past lives with that you've already met. But I feel like you had to leave that person to go back to your, your this karmic because something here wasn't closed out with that person. You couldn't move on to this true love if you don't close that karmic cycle out. Hopefully you guys are, are catching my drift here, okay? I know it's a lot going on, but, you know, spirit is speaking to me with these messages, so I'm just delivering them. So let's see for Aquarius, messages for Aquarius spirit. Messages for Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we have false twin flame. Yeah, <laughs> the person that you were with was not your twin. Okay, that karmic cycle, that you, the karmic that you were with, is not your twin i feel like you found this out or you maybe thought that this person was the love of your life and you were going to be with them forever absolutely not <laughs> absolutely the fuck not you know who your true love is now we have divination spying someone is consulting the tarot to get information on you getting readings on you asking a psychic okay what else for aquarius copying your style someone likes how you dress talk look etc so much that they try to act like you okay creepy <laughs> someone here that's like envious okay i don't know because somebody i don't like when people try to copy me be yourself that's just giving me envious vibes okay if you admire someone just tell them if you like what they got on just tell them okay if you, you want to know where someone got something from just tell them and they'll let you know and if you like it, you buy it, okay? But just let somebody know that you're digging them. Don't be trying to copy. That's weird. Yeah, distorted feminine. So like I'm feeling, this could be like karmic energy. If this is a male Aquarius or you were dealing with a male or whatever, they were dealing with somebody that's distorted, that, that was your false twin flame, okay? You were dealing with someone that was a false twin. This person is, distor is a distorted feminine. And you found out that this person is not the love of your life. You thought they were going to, you were going to be with this person forever. Long and behold, you have to close this cycle out with this person to move on. Okay. It says fear of conflict, hypersensitive, rejection of rationality, too receptive, waiting for things to happen. So somebody here is just, I don't know. This distorted feminine is copying probably your new person's style. They're just a hater, I feel. Groupie, yeah. Can't be alone, always always has to partner up with someone tagging along just for the sake of it tenth house this situation involves someone's ambition their rank in society achievements alkalize social class yeah someone here just likes to be seen and they're just not they're very inauthentic someone here's very got a big ego they need to be humbled married so someone here could have been married okay just for the fuck of it just because it looks good on paper or something <laughs> yeah it's very weird what else for aquarius we have second house everything the person in this situation may own and claim as theirs money possessions their own self-worth okay second house is important here projecting pointing out the actions of someone else but really they are doing those the things to you yeah, so somebody here likes to finger point and like to guilt trip you into things too, I'm hearing. <laughs> somebody here is insecure. What else? Stressed. Somebody here is stressed. I feel like it's a distorted feminine, this groupie. They're stressed. <laughs> Third house. How one possesses knowledge, rules, communication, one's generosity, and social life. And then we have controller, constantly needing control of people, things, situations, etc. Yeah, that's that distorted feminine energy, whoever that is. Somebody here likes to be in control of things and they don't have control over the situation anymore. They're getting left. <laughs> so this was your reading, Aquarius. If you liked it, please comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.